This sharply struck dime boasts complete separation of the lower and upper horizontal bands on the torch, earning it the coveted full bands designation. If you have a 1955 D Roosevelt dime in uncirculated condition with attractive toning, be sure to closely inspect the torch. Such superb gems are highly prized by collectors. For instance, this particular specimen fetched an impressive $5,040 at heritage auctions. This coin embodies the pinnacle of Roosevelt dimes, featuring a full strike, pristine surfaces, glistening luster, and incredibly vibrant multicolor toning. The 1955D is exceptionally rare in this high grade, making it a true gem for any collection. With America preparing to enter the war, defense industries secured lucrative contracts, significantly boosting production. The Great Depression ended in 1941 amidst rising economic activity and employment, leading to a substantial increase in coin mintages. Philadelphia more than doubled its output of quarter dollars to an unprecedented level. This issue was widely saved in rolls, making examples very common in mint state. Gems are abundant through MS67, though these grades don't always consider worn or overpolished dyes. Collectors are advised to seek well-struck pieces made from fresh dyes. The present example, graded MS68 by PCGS with CAC approval, is nearly as well known. It features iridescent shades of golden brown, emerald green, and a crown of fuchsia pink as its dominant visual characteristics. The design elements are sharply detailed, and the surfaces display vibrant mint luster beneath the colorful patina. This spectacular Washington quarter sold for, for $10,800. To identify this highly elusive and incredibly valuable penny variety, no loop or coin microscope is required. You can see the die doubling on the obverse side of the coin with the naked eye. We're talking about the famous 1955 DDO Lincoln Cent. Uh, this brown specimen was graded Mint State 64 by NGC. It's an attractive example, primarily medium brown with glimmers of pumpkin orange near the obverse rims. The strike is crisp, showcasing the doubled obverse design elements clearly. The coin is minimally marked, with only a single spot of deeper toning above the gap between the O and N of 1 on the reverse. As of May 2024, NGC has graded only 20 finer brown examples of this variety. This error penny sold for an impressive $3,960. This immensely popular variety in the Mercury Head series has captivated collectors since its discovery in 1947. Its commonality makes it accessible to enthusiasts of all levels, from beginners to advanced collectors. The mint mark on this 1945 S dime is notably smaller compared to the normal mint mark of 1945 and previous years, earning it the designation of the 1945 Micro S dime. Gem and superb non-full band examples are readily available up to MS67, but in MS68, this variety becomes an extreme condition rarity. Full band examples are less available and pricier in grades up to MS67 FB, and in MS68 FB, they are supremely rare. This particular MS66 specimen fetched $144 on May 21, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Pay attention to the letters in the motto, In God We Trust, on this quarter dollar. They are very weak, almost ghost-like. In the later stages of usage, the letters blur to the point of being virtually unreadable. This highly elusive 1934 quarter with the light motto variety is about three times scarcer than the standard medium motto. According to Ron Guth, three obverse hubs were used to produce 1934 quarter dollars. Light motto, a.k.a. type of 1932, in God we trust, is mushy and indistinct. Medium motto, a.k.a. type of 1935, in God we trust, is stronger, but the letters are thin. Heavy motto, a.k.a. type of 1936, in God we trust, is very strong, with the top center of the W higher than the left and right strokes. This light motto specimen, graded Mint State 65, recently fetched $149 at Heritage Auctions. As it did at other mints, scent production rose dramatically at San Francisco in 1917. Due to the hoarding of S-Mint scents pursued by collectors for decades, moderately worn examples of this issue are quite common compared to their Denver counterparts. Mint state coins are not rare, except with full red color, which is seldom seen. Fewer sharply struck examples exist for this date, than for the 1915S and 1916S issues as the mint struggled to meet its production numbers. 
The illustrated coin is a truly exceptional specimen, being both sharply struck from fresh dyes and blessed with much original red. It also features the old-style mint mark of 1909-16, whereas the vast majority of 1917-S cents have the new mint mark introduced this year and used almost universally through 1941. This 1917-S Lincoln cent, graded MS-65 red by PCGS, displays rich copper-orange and red-gold hues with satiny luster and no obtrusive abrasions. Slight strike softness is noted at the borders and on the O in 1, as is normal for this issue. The eye appeal exceeds expectations. It sold for an impressive $6,300. Premium alert. If you have a bicentennial silver 1976S Kennedy half dollar, closely inspect the obverse lettering. This error type can be worth hundreds of dollars if in superb gem condition. The highly coveted 1976S Kennedy half dollar with a double die obverse is especially valuable. According to Variety Vista, a light spread is evident on We Trust in the motto, In God We Trust. It's almost impossible to spot with the naked eye, so be sure to use a decent coin microscope during the examination process. This MS-68 Superb Gem recently fetched $780 at Heritage Auctions. In conclusion, the world of rare U.S. coins is filled with treasures that can turn up in the most unexpected places. From error pennies to double dyes and unique varieties, these coins are not just pieces of history, but also potential sources of significant value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for these hidden gems in your change and coin collections. If you enjoyed learning about these rare U.S. coins and want to see more content like this, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or any rare coins you've come across. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more numismatic adventures. Thanks for watching and happy coin hunting.